This is Dr. Daniel Paul, orthopedic surgeon with Easy Orthopedics, and today I'm going to talk about how you can tell if your wrist is sprained or broken. So, sprains are pretty more common in the wrist, uh, breaks are a little bit less common. Um, easy way to tell right off the bat is if your wrist is deformed at all and looks really funny, then you probably broke it. And when people say wrist sprains, uh, wrist breaks, uh, it can be one of two things. Uh, like classically, it refers to the bones in the wrist. You have like eight small bones in your wrist, but it can also, people also commonly use it to refer to the distal radius, which is this bone right at the end of your forearm. Some people say they broke their wrist when they really broke their distal radius. But when you break that, usually it gets deformed if it's displaced, otherwise it won't. But the best thing you can do to tell if your wrist is sprained or broken is to get x-rays. And if your distal radius is broken, you'll be able to tell. Or if there's something seriously wrong with your wrist, you'll usually be able to tell. Now, a ca there's a caveat to that. Also, sometimes when people say they broke their wrist, it's because they broke their scaphoid bone, which is this little weird bone in the wrist. They say it looks like a twisted peanut, and it's kind of near your, the base of your thumb, and um, that can also break. Now, sometimes an x-ray, if it's not displaced, you can get an initial x-ray, and you can't tell that the scaphoid is broken. So what they'll do is they'll splint it up for a couple weeks, and then if it's still hurting, they'll get uh, x-rays again. And usually you'll, usually you'll be able to tell at that point. Um, if you're looking for a quicker answer to whether or not, let's say, the x you, let's say you hurt your wrist, x-rays are normal, but it's really killing you, you can get an MRI of your wrist or a CT scan, and that'll show the fine detail whether or not you broke your scaphoid. But by far and away, when people break their wrists, it's usually the distal radius slash ulna or the scaphoid. Um, if you're concerned that you broke it, I would go get imaging. If you don't think maybe you broke it, you can always just wear a splint for a while. Wrist sprains should go away in a few weeks, but if the bone is broken, it's on the order of a couple months, assuming that it's aligned properly. But yeah, that's pretty much the easiest way to tell. If it's feeling real bad, go get an x-ray. If not, you may be able to get away with wearing a wrist splint for a couple weeks and then taking it off and seeing how it is. Um, I hope I was able to answer your question, how to tell if your wrist is sprained or broken. If you have any questions I didn't answer, feel free to leave them in my comments below and I'll do my best to respond. Uh, if you like this video, we put out new content every Friday and please like and subscribe and thanks for watching.